I go to the movies with friend Ben. Hey, you might remember him from other um, other hits such as the other Lord of the Rings movies. Yes, yeah, yeah. And and we all saw today the return of the king. He came back. If you can even believe it. He came it. back, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. It, it took him like five hours, but he finally got yeah, there. He got there, and <laughs> long movie, but yeah, it was good. Yeah, it yeah. was All it right, was good. cool. Uh, uh, oh, 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 no, no, no we have more what, to say. Isn't there more to talk about? I guess there's other Mr. things ben? to say about Mr. Frodo movie. Ben. About this, uh, <laughs> I didn't get up one time during this movie. I thought I would, like, find a spot where I'm like, oh, no, this is the boring part of the movie. But I'm like, no, no, I'm still kind of, even, like, when, when Sam and Frodo are, like, walking around in, in Mordor and, like, they got the goofy orc helmets on her or something. I, like, remember thinking, like, that, oh, yeah, this will, that'll be the part where I get up to That actually refill. is when I got up. Yeah, that's, 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 I was like, okay. But, uh, well, yeah, you were, yeah, you know, not, not as dedicated as I am. No, no, no. To the, the cause of, no, I, of watching this movie in one <laughs> continuous go. There were some parents who brought their children to this. They were sitting behind huh? us. I'm like, good Lord, you're bringing your children to this four-hour movie? That is a, and, that's a hard sell on a five-year-old. <laughs> yeah, I think that they were pretty young. They were, because they were asking questions are, uh, like, is his mouth bleeding? That's mm. something you don't need to ask. Mm. That's something you just see. Yeah, is his mouth <laughs> bleeding? Well, yeah, you know, because his mouth is bleeding. <laughs> I know. I as you like, can see wow. on the now That's the what we get for going to the, the earlier show. And you may notice that there is daytime uh, outside. Lovely daylight. That's kind of yeah. a, a fun thing. This the, the setting sun as it goes down there. Uh, I mean, yeah, there... Good Lord, I would not have wanted to, like, because the only only other screen was at 7 p.m. Yeah, it would have been midnight 30 would have been, or something. We, yeah, like I said, it's going to be freaking Tuesday by the time we're done with this thing. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to see the, the early showing, and uh, I had some mishaps with things, so I was a little bit late, but apparently I only missed the 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 animatronic guy. <laughs> I call, like, the CEO or whatever, the guy does the intro for Flashback Cinema, like, yeah, he's animatronic because when he when he sits, <laughs> like, he's sitting, like, his arms are resting on, like, you know, the, the theater seat armrest or whatever. He has his hands, like, kind of claps like so. And then, like, he just kind of talk, like, <laughs> this is, like, as much movement as he does. And, like, the rest Flashback of his body doesn't cinema. move. And it's like, wow, this is an, it's like some sort of Disney animatronic <laughs> thing that's going on there. It's it's weird. Uh, but yeah, you only missed him, and I think you came in and sat down like as it's like in the flashback scene of of Smeagol and yeah, the Smeagol. getting the ring and all the that. Andy Circus. Andy, like, yeah, we actually see Andy Circus, which I'm sure like. That had to be a nice day of like work for Andy Circus, where he's like, "Oh, I don't have to like wear a gimp suit or like have a bunch of balls on my body or like have a suit covered with ping pong Phrasing. balls." Phrasing. Phrasing. Oh. Yes, I, admit, I I regretted it as soon as as soon as it was out of my mouth. I regretted it. Phrasing. Or is it? Hmm. So yeah, uh, the, this one it's. I know they made them all at the same time, but because there was more time between them, the CG got better by the end. I think by the so. Third movie, the yeah, the by the movie. the third movie, like in the first one, like the cave troll was a triumph. It's yeah. like, oh my god, this cave troll looks amazing. And in this one, there's just a bunch of trolls. Like yes. they're all over the place. And their lighting is much better. They yeah. blend much better. And they don't. Is... They don't do everything in the dark either. No, they this do a is lot true. in the dark, mm -hmm. but they don't do everything in the dark this time. Not the, everything, no. Uh, the one, the one scene with um, uh, the guy without legs um, taking down the elephant. He. Uh, the guy without legs taking. Yeah, out. legless. That's his name, right? <laughs> Just gonna let that one. Let that one so, so, so yeah, acknowledging he, that he's taking down the the giant elephant. That yes. one went full on cut scene. Uh, in yeah, in a couple of things, which yeah. you have to do, and it, it it still looks good. But I mean, the modern eye mm -hmm. is is more. I think it all there's very. I wouldn't say there's anything in this movie that doesn't hold up or like, right, right. It definitely looks like okay, yeah, this was really good CGI in two thousand and three, but still like okay, yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, it is, it is amazing. Like all the things. There's, what is that? The guy that was on fire. 
<laughs> now, I'm sure it's been talked to death by Jenna everybody, Thor. but I, 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 this is the first time where I actually put it together in my head that he went out of his way to jump off that thing. Yeah. It... <laughs> he has to basically run around or hurdle that yeah. giant pool of water. Like, it was, <laughs> it was really goofy, like, in the theatrical version, uh, but then the extended cut, like, it kind of shows that, like, the burial chamber thing that they go to is like this extra thing that's like away from the main throne room like yeah. in the theatrical cut like it doesn't show how far they go so you just think oh it's like right next door but like there's another like quarter mile of a walkway to go and it's like <laughs> Dude, he would have like burnt out like I literally know. before but he got he to the to jump. Go out of his way to miss that big <laughs> pool of water yeah. that that tree is growing out of. That white tree, he would have had to run around it or hurdle oh. it. Oh, oh, on fire! Oh, on fire! Then, oh, oh, avoid the pool! Avoid the and water! Then ah. Run a football field, yeah, because you see it full of people at the end, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not. It's like. It's kind of hard to see what the scale is when he's by himself, but when it's full of people, it's like, oh, this is like a football field. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> wow, you... Yeah, that, he's that's... dedicated to jumping off the end of that. I think, I've, like, <laughs> even the behind-the-scenes stuff, they've been like, yeah, that's probably <laughs> that not... Um, I, I forget how Denethor dies in the book. Um, <laughs> it might be something like that. I forget exactly. One thing like, that I always loved in the behind the scenes that they talked about for this movie was Peter Jackson theorizing on how the beacons worked. Because yeah. the beacons of Gondor, like, you, they light one and then, like, way off on the horizon, as far as one could be in still seat, another one lights and, like, you know, the beacons, yeah. like, jump around and all the way to, to Rohan, which is, like, it's a really cool concept. But Peter Jackson, like, I think in the commentary or something, he's like, it is kind of perplexing to figure out how this actually works like are they just hanging out up there all the yeah, time so like, you know is this they a... show these things in places where there is no wood yeah yeah so it's, it's like, like someone drug all this wood up the mountain and they just got to sit there freezing in the snow waiting yeah. to see a light and then light the thing on yeah fire. it was like is it like maybe it's a military term of service like you know this is just part of being in the gondor army is like you'd spend a month up there or whatever or maybe like there's a cabin and people like live up there and like they like you know it's a, a generational thing and one day father says here son today you are a man and you get the matches yeah. one day you may have to use the matches you might have to do something i have not had to use the matches ever oh. uh but you might you never know so i don't know it's a really epic thing but i do love like how they kind of admit like logistically the beacons are weird yeah <laughs> So, ah, yes. So that was all good. I like, uh, I like the, there was a lot of pans in the fire in this one. Pans it, in the fire? Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Oh, there's, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of different little stories, and it's like. Yeah, because you had, like, what's going on with Pippin and Gandalf and, Mo and, and there's Tirith, and you have, like, what, you know, what yeah, Mary. Yeah, they, they split the hobbits up more. Yeah. It was, they, <laughs> they split up uh, Mary and the Virgin. And so they Pippin. Yeah, you know he doesn't he doesn't sleep around because Pippin ain't easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. So okay. yeah, they split them up and. Well played. Uh, <laughs> they they split them up, and it was like a weird. Like kind of love interest with the sort of the one guy and, mm -hmm. and the and the blonde with Mary lady. Mary and Aowen. Now is there more than one blonde lady? Um, I don't because I know. didn't think that she died when she was talking to her dad, who was underneath the horse. Her, that's her uncle. Her, her uncle. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, no, I, I just see did, the faces. I don't she, memorize the she name. She did not die. No, we see her like later on. She's in the house of the, so who's the healing the place. So who's the other blonde lady? There is no other blonde lady. Didn't she die? No. There's what other blonde lady? I don't know. I get. I there's Aowen. She is the blonde one. She's like with the horse guys. She's like the niece of yeah, the yeah, king. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, 
you know, King says, he okay, wants, you're going to be a soldier. Yeah. She's like, he says like, you're going to go back and you're going to like be in charge. He's like, I don't want to be in charge. I want to stab some orcs. Yeah. He's like, you can't stab orcs. That's you're a lady. Work. It's, that's men's work. But Stabbing orcs is for the men. Ruling the realm is okay. Ruling the realm. Okay. <laughs> Stabbing orcs. That's no, just, no, it's crazy. No. Woman can't do that. You're insane. So she's like, well, I'm going to stab some orcs anyway. So she, like, puts on a helmet. She picks up Mary, puts him on the horse, and they ride off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, yeah, battle happens, and, like, it all culminates, like, in her, like, killing oh, the Witch King. And she's I like, forgot. Yeah. She came back to life whenever the guy washed her face. Yes, Aragorn because washed her face. The, with, the guy who looks like he's a professional wrestler, her brother or... Cousin, or whatever that one's name is, <laughs> Carl Urban. Yeah. Air, Air yeah. Air, he yeah. sees her lying on the ground and freaks out. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking that she was dead. Right. No, but then, but just, then she just, just the, gravely injured. The king who isn't yet the king. Mm-hmm. He has uh, to re- washes he's her about face. to return. He hasn't returned quite yet. Yeah. Is he's, he doing some elf magic on her? I, I, I was say? always a little confused by that because he like literally just uh, does take a washcloth. You know, rings it out, rubs it over her head, and she's like, "Oh, hey, thanks." You yeah, know, like I'm good now. There's a lot of people in this movie that uh, that are pretending to be dead for a while. Yeah, that happens a lot. The guy, a lot of, the guy a lot of fake deaths in this his movie. Dad, or fake outs. The guy who we were talking about earlier that mm-hmm. set himself on fire, he thinks his son is dead. Yeah. Or he. Or, or I don't know what he's trying he's to do. He's crazy. Pull. He's, yeah, just he's crazy. lost it for some and, reason. And like has the most obedient like servants of all right. time. Because <laughs> Gandalf just rides it. Who let me say is very reckless with this horse in this town. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this town is obviously not made for horse. Uh yeah. <laughs> he's just like he's just galloping like, all around. Everybody's they're diving like, out they're like, whoa, whoa, holy whoa. babies. <laughs> giant, giant white wizard on a white horse. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, boy, that's that's pretty crazy. And there's like a little person on there. Yeah. What is that? Wow, okay. We, the citizens of the city, are very confused right now. Yeah, so those, those two have fake deaths. The son of the guy, the mm-hmm. daughter, and even uh, the Frodo. For a little while after yeah. he gets after he gets penetrated he, by the spider. He gets, he gets stabbed, spotty I, stabbed. Now, here's the thing I don't get, though. Okay. He has the special armor, the the, oh, the yeah. mithril thing. Yeah, he's wearing the mithril, and isn't there he? is in a hole in it. And he gets stabbed. I, I well, maybe like they, the know. whole thing falls apart. The movies are trash. Sp- <laughs> no, no. Spider <laughs> gets him like right underneath the armor. I guess it's like kind of like just like right, like ends like the at the waist. Mail. Yeah, and something. she got him in the butt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> butt stab. He wasn't the mithril doesn't go to the butt. I guess they don't. They don't make it that way. There's not enough of those. But that's what I was thinking because they show. They hold it up later when yeah. when the dude and with looks, the face yeah. is showing him. Mm-hmm. The dude with the teeth is showing the yeah. showing his ah oh, ha ha. And I'm like, shouldn't there be a hole in that? Yeah. And that's why I was thinking is like, this spider is the only thing that can penetrate this magic armor. That's what I just assumed. Sure, why not? But it happened. It's like there's no hole in that. Oh, well, it's, it's a healing tunic. I get it. Well, it, it repaired itself. <laughs> it repaired itself. Sure. And there, there is no epilogue for this spider, so I guess it didn't die. <laughs> now we, uh, yeah, the, the I think sp- in the book it just does like the spider like just crawls back into the caves and festers and eventually heals or whatever the yeah. hell. But it doesn't. It's done. Like yeah, yeah. not going to bug Frodo anymore. We can assume that the the golem Schmeagel dies, gets melted in the fire. Although he doesn't yeah. seem to be in any pain whenever. <laughs> It well, isn't too much shock. He, yeah, he's thinking about this, per, saving this ring. He's like, oh, no, I'm in the fire. I'm in the lava, but I still got this ring, kind of. I don't know. I always it's like kind of funny because it, they totally, uh, people always said that uh, Alien Cubed mm-hmm. was too much like Terminator 2 because they both end by going into the fire. Oh, yeah. And I was like, and I was noticing that it looked like they were doing both of those movies in that shot <laughs> and a little because bit it there, does yeah. the thing where like an alien cubed where uh-huh. it holds the chest as it goes into the fire mm-hmm. and then he's doing the thing with the hand raised like mm-hmm. in, in Term- Terminator Term- 2 <laughs> doesn't give a thumbs up no no but I, I was just uh-huh. like, I was like visually it, it made me think about this well, fair enough <laughs> you have very similar visual motifs I always like interpreted that moment where he, he hits the fire and like he looks at the ring like kind of shocked like yeah. that he thinks it betrayed him like what oh, you God. made me fall in the fire you d- what ring come on i thought yeah. you liked me you were supposed to 
protect me. D Dag Nabbit, you know? I always would have, like, wondered, like, what, what would the end be like if a Gollum had just, like, kind of run off instead of dancing around? He's like, hey, got it! Yeah. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Sam just like, oh, come on, man! What? Oh, <laughs> you gotta come chase back! Him halfway down the mountain and then get it again. Yeah, I got it. Climb back up. <laughs> Well, that's what I was saying. I understand there's three books, but I th really think that second, that third movie needed to be split into two movies. That could because it's like there's two big, big ending things. Mm -hmm. There's the giant battle that yeah. needs to be the end of the third movie, and mm -hmm. then have a fourth movie just about the Mount Doom or right. whatever. Getting up that. Yeah, yeah, just and you know cutting back to other stuff like they sure, do anyway sure. during that yeah. whole thing. But it's just like. Because all together that it's like a huge and then it's it's <laughs> is that so much like a, an arc of a movie it's kind of mm. like woo <laughs> a little bit there yeah a i mean roller coastery yeah adapting the book is kind of crazy like the two towers doesn't actually end the book it ends with frodo being stabbed by the spider then taken by the orcs really? which in this movie it's a while before that happens. Hmm. Yeah. That, that, that's actually a more intense cliffhanger. Because I, mm -hmm. I mentioned it in the last video mm -hmm. where I was like, like, Empire Strikes Back, it ends on a dark note. Mm -hmm. But in the Two Towers movie, it's like they just won. Yeah, we won. We <laughs> did it. Yay. <laughs> we know there's going to be a third movie, but there's no, like, cliffhanger, really. Yeah. Like, we like, beat the white-bearded guy with the help of the other white-bearded guy. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Did you get to see him die at the yeah at the beginning of this? Movie? It's actually funny. Like the two towers, like the the Peter Jackson two towers, actually ends the same way as the Ralph Bakshi Lord of the Rings movie does, mm -hmm. with like Smeagol saying like, "Oh, I can't kill them, but I can't kill them. How am I gonna do it? Oh, she could kill them, you know." Yeah. Except that, like the interpretation of Gom is like very different in that movie. Like in in this, it's like you know it's. The, the famous golem, like you know, can I get maybe kill them, kill them? Oh, yeah, bad master precious, but yeah, whatever that. But in like the Ralph Bakshi version, like if I remember correctly, he's almost foppish, like in the way that he he acts, so, like hmm, must kill them to get back the precious. Ooh, but how? Oh, yeah. Ooh, perhaps she could that was do it. Thing I, no <clears throat> I noticed the so in the first movie. The orcs don't talk. In the second movie, they talk and they're British. This yeah. one, they're talking and they're almost like normal people now. <laughs> but I also noticed that the uh, the the ghost faced killer guys that that were on the horses in the first movie, sure, yeah, they're, they're a little bit in the second movie, mm -hmm. I, I think. And in this one, they're just talk. That guy's just talking all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's suddenly talking. Like, yeah, does he? He oh, might. They might have the like. Wizard, th he might have a line or two in like the first movie, or just kind of a ghostly like. Uh, I yeah, I think he's like, there's like, the only time they talk is when Going they're chasing, the they're, yeah, they're in the river, they're right, cha right. Then chasing Arwen and Frodo, and like, Arwen's on the other side, and she has stopped and turned around, like, has her sword up, and he says something like, you know, give up the halfling, like, and it's some voice like that, and now, like, he's like, very well spoken. Yeah, he's British, <laughs> yeah. he's just talking. <laughs> Do you know death, white wizard? I am that power. Or something goofy yeah. like that and like makes Gan I was always confused like why he could make Gandalf's like staff split or break or like I always thought that was like kind of yeah, odd. These but, things yeah. don't seem to be wizards, but Yeah, and then like Gandalf can make Saruman's staff break. Which fun you may have heard this. The whole meeting with Saruman at the beginning, not in the theatrical cut of this movie. Really? Yeah. In the theatrical version, they were like so pressed for time, they show up and Treebeard says, yep, we've got this. Uh, Saruman is still inside the tower. And Gandalf's like, well, he's going to stay there under your watch now, Treebeard. And then Pippin looks down, and like, there's like the glowy ball, the palantir. And he's like, whoa, what's that? Hops off, picks it up, and, and then like, then Gandalf's like, whoa, 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 why don't you <laughs> that's let me, that's let me have the, the, the evil the, magic <laughs> ball? Yeah, like, other, Saruman is just movie. unresolved. I think, like, Christopher Lee was, like, always upset about that. Like, Peter Jackson's like, no, don't worry, you'll I be in the spent months training to fall off a building. <laughs> he does his own stunts. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, apparently he did, like, offer this really weird piece of advice to Peter Jackson, like, for his death scene. Like, he gets stabbed, and Jackson's like, okay, and then you get stabbed and you scream. 
And Christopher Lee says, Peter, do you know what it sounds like when a man is stabbed in the back? Because I do. <laughs> it's like, huh? And apparently, like, Christopher Lee is so, he is like, he goes World, so far World back. He was in World yeah. War II, did World some, War like, special, special agent action, and... Was, Same with Tolkien. Yeah. So he was in the military. I don't think C.S. Lewis was actually in the military, but I think he was a military chaplain or something. Something like I, that. I don't yeah. know. They it's were like all in. Yeah, that to, whole generation. They all had to be in the military yeah. at some point. That's just what so. you did. You know, like, oh, the Germans. Like, oh, yeah. no. And then if you look, then later on, it's like, the Germans so the again. The Germans again. <laughs> like, really? Again? <laughs> that seems strange. <laughs> but whatever. But yeah, it does make sense. Like, if someone gets uh uh, stabbed in the lungs. Obviously, mm -hmm. you don't have the wind. Basically, yeah, he's saying, like, you don't scream out because you can't. The air is, like, leaving yeah. your lungs. So, like, it's more of just, a, uh, like, that sound, which is what he does in the movie. Yeah. And that always just struck me as the weirdest thing ever. Like, you always you see that, like, like, in movies, mm -hmm. people were always getting shot in the chest. It didn't hit mm -hmm. their heart, but I mean, you got mm -hmm. a collapsed lung. <laughs> you know, if you're not strictly getting shot in the mm. shoulders or the stomach it's like yeah. if because you, you, you see people oh it missed my heart mm. why you aren't talking <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah. gotta love that but uh yeah then uh there's just there's none of that in the the theatrical cut of the movie and apparently that was meant to be the end of the second movie was yeah. them confronting Saruman. And it does make sense because, like, they'll are, like, all yelling at each other, like, rah, 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 you know, Theoden, the king, the horse king, he's like, I will have peace when you pay for what you did. It's like, that does make sense to be, like, that would be the end of the second one where he's the main villain. Yeah. But there you go. And, like, in interviews, Christopher Lee's, like, at first he thought, like, when he realized... His death scene was not in the second movie. He's like, all right, great. They're bringing me back for the third one. This is awesome. <laughs> Milk they out. thought it was such a great villain. They put me in two of these movies. Fantastic. <laughs> and then, like, theatrical version comes out. He's just not there. And he's like, what the hell? Peter Jackson says, oh, don't worry. You'll be in, like, the extended cut. He's like, oh, fantastic. I'm in a DVD extra. Wonderful, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> so nice of you. But uh, it's like the third movie doesn't really have a villain. It's not just the eye. Much. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's the eye, yeah, which is the trick of the movie is, the, like, basically your villain is, like, a big glowy eye in the sky. I mean, you could say Golem, uh, but is kind of, but he isn't, like, he's only the he's only the villain to, to, to Sam, to and, Sam Frodo. and Frodo. Yeah. It's like, there is no main threat other than the fact that the army's coming. Yeah, you could say that the orcs are... You know the enemy. You know they. There's the 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 pink orc with the messed up face. Oh yeah, that's the one. That Elephant gets the man, the guy. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy that gets the most screen time. But yeah, and I don't think he is really in the. He's like a character like that is mentioned in the book, but yeah. he's not like not really a character. So in the movie, they're like, well, we need to like make a yeah, we a need, guy in the we on need the front. Someone to to order people around. And yeah, like that. that whole business. Like, Go form ranks, <laughs> markets, and like. <laughs> Every now and then he stabs a guy, he says something about how the age of man is ending, you know, whatever. He stabs a guy, the age of man is in. And I can only imagine, like, the other orcs, like, yeah, dude, we know. That's what we're here for. What are you, who are you saying this to, man? We we know. <laughs> we know that you don't like men. Like, we, we just killed a bunch of them. Like, I, whatever. Yeah. There's a... <laughs> Agent Smith gets more to do in this one. Agent Smith does get to more to do. And, is uh, not Aerosmith's daughter. Uh, yeah, Aerosmith's daughter. She's there too. I mean, she's got her hair looked weird in this one, for some like compared to the other ones. Well, you know, like, they can't all be perfect, Josh. But you filmed them all at the same time. <laughs> Well, they didn't actually they? film. Well, they filmed. They did film for eighteen months, all in yeah. one go. And then in between each movie coming out, there were pickups. Oh, so like yeah. they would film. We decided to edit this different, so we got to yeah. do something Yeah, and we've too. got, we, you know, the studios realize these things are going to make more money than God, so we're they're <laughs> going to pay us to, like, fly the cast back to New Zealand just for just for kicks yeah. and film some extra scenes. Like, I think the scene, like, Frodo's, like, one of the, like the, one of the last scenes of Frodo at the very end where he's, like, writing the book and... Sam's like, yeah. whoa, you finished it. And he's like, oh, there's some more pages that are left. Yeah. You know? I was like, no! <laughs> no, there's more of this movie? How? How can there be more? But that was like an extra thing film. It was also like Elijah Wood's last film. That he, yeah. uh, last like 
thing that he shot, and like there's a behind the scenes there, or one's like really weepy, and you know, like Peter Jackson is like clearly doing way way more takes than he needs to because he just doesn't want to, you know, have to stop filming Elijah Wood because they've been buddies for several years now. It's very emotional behind the scenes stuff on this movie. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, that that <clears throat> that scene with the boat at the end. Is that just a very poetic, poetic way of saying that Frodo killed himself? Because <laughs> he couldn't Many. deal with it. Because I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's like you got you got the the religious leaders mm -hmm. bringing the old man away from Middle Earth. Yep. On like across the river Styx or whatever is going on, <laughs> and then Frodo's like, "Oh, I'm going too, guys," mm -hmm. and they're like, "No." What? <laughs> like, no, guys, I got stabbed, like, super bad. Yeah, it's not healing, and I just, I think, uh, like, I can't, really, I can't deal with this. I think, as with many things in the, you know, in Lord of the Rings lore, it is just open to whatever interpretation yeah. you want to take on it. It can be <laughs> that Frodo's just like, I can't do this anymore, because, like, there's, like, the scene that, like, again, one of the, another, like, it's not one of those things that, like, at my age now, I'm like, wow, that, that really, that's some truth to that. Like, where he says, how do you go back, you know? How can you return to times of old? And you realize yeah, eventually there is no going back. You can't change back to what was. There's yeah, too that, much has happened. I'm like, yeah. They had that scene where they're all sitting around the table and they're mm -hmm. like... Yeah, well, this isn't as fun as it used to be. Right, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, what? That's what Frodo's going through. Yeah. Like, he's like, More than I can't go back to being like some ridiculously wide eyed little hobbit because I'm Elijah Wood and I have ridiculously wide eyes. And is one of his eyes, I'm not one to talk about people's eyes, but is one of his eyes bigger than the other? Like the actual eyeball. Oh, both both of them are bigger than the other. Well, no, no. I mean, I know he has large <laughs> eyes in yeah. general, but I think one of them is actually bigger than the other one. <laughs> it does. I can sure like depending on the angle. It'll probably look that way. I could definitely see that. But yeah, he ups in the boat, and like that can be. He's choosing to. Uh, he's just shuffle not... off this mortal coil yeah. like my old relative here. Yeah, pretty. There's that, yeah. Or you could say, like, yeah, some people said, like, oh, he goes over with the elves to, like, their their special land because that's, like, the only place where the thing won't hurt anymore. And he'll still, like... I think mm. in the books it says, like, there's some, like, appendices where it says that he, you know, lived out the rest of his life in oh. relative peace. Oh, well, there you go. Um, but that's not what the movie is showing us. The movie yeah, is just like, showing us, like... Well, I think it's kind of like... Also, like, the ring is destroyed, but whatever the ring imprints on you is still in him. And it's always like, because he's, he's, you know, sitting there talking about, I lost it. Like, when he talks to the, to... To Sam? Bilbo. No. The Bilbo. When they're in the... Oh, room, yeah, he like, says, I lost it. Can I hold that ring again? Oh, like, I lost it. And he's like, it's like he still wants it. Yeah. You know? So there's a part of him that is like, he is a danger to the, to mm. the Shire himself, even yeah. though the ring doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting stuff. But then, what else is going on? There wasn't as much with uh, uh, the the fuzzy-faced... Uh, Gimli? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he has lines every now and then. But mm. They're still doing their funny little count, or they're counting... Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> There's plenty for both of us. May the best dwarf win. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're pumping your fist on his hairy little women line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The dwarves go swimming with the little hairy women. Yeah. It's an underrepresented fetish. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that's all extended cut too. Too, I don't think even, like the drinking contest is uh, is not in the. Not, the not really a contest. So yeah. I guess elves just have a really high metabolism, is what's going on. Because they have that bread that mm. like supposedly you don't you know is really dense. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Even yeah. though, like, yeah, in the Hobbit movies, we see the elves, like, getting plastered on, on I guess, their their wine. Mm. So it's, like, super wine that the elves can drink. But those aren't canon. Right. No, like, <laughs> they actually technically are. But they stretched it too much. Well, and I mean, they didn't, yeah. the Lord of the Rings movies, they needed to make more movies. The Hobbit movies, they needed to make less. <laughs> And not because of the craft of filmmaking by Peter Jackson. It's just the amount of material. Pretty much. <laughs> Stretched you know? it too thin, packed too much in. <laughs> Always interesting. And, like, and 
And Lord of the Rings, you know, there's stuff they just didn't film. I, I, they never filmed, you know, Tom Bombadil, who was like this weird wood bearded oh. creature that like I they come heard, across. Yeah, I, I remember hearing uh, people talk about it. It may have been Lindsay, mm -hmm. Ellis or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're like talking about how you, you run into this character and then you realize that's a complete side quest that does nothing. Yeah, <laughs> pretty so, much. I mean, there's a reason why they didn't film it. But it's... There's, uh, I mean, really in the book that, like, Saruman is, like, just left at the tower. He's, like, just oh, left the there. They yeah. don't kill him? They don't kill him. No, no. Here's the thing. At the end of the mo at the end of the book, after they've killed Sauron and destroyed the ring, Oh, right. God, what happened? We, what? What? Oh, 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 we, no. We had a phone call. From, the, the world stopped. Oh, God. <laughs> we had a phone call from friend wife. <laughs> yeah, I hope you return that call very soon. Oh, I will. Okay, I'll very good. Well, I normally put it on the airplane <laughs> mode, but I forgot. Fair enough. Anyway, what I was saying was that after they've like the hobbits are done, they're heading back home, they get back to the Shire, only to find out that the Shire is apparently under siege. They're like, what the hell is going on? And the uh, other hobbits are like, no, dude, like, some crazy guy has, like, come in and has, like, been beating the crap out of people. And it turns out it's Saruman and Grima, uh, and they've just, like, went to the Shire, and, like, Saruman is now, like, a low-level mob boss who's, like, eating, like, whatever food is available to him. Uh, and eventually the hobbits, yeah. like, you know, for, like... They have a <clears throat> uh, they like all get together and they like <clears throat> overpower Saruman and like Saruman runs off Grima gets pissed off at him and it's like the end of the movie where he like stabs him and then the other hobbits like shoot arrows at Grima and kill him yeah. so it's <laughs> you want to talk about like too many endings yeah. in the movie oh my god the endings of the book <laughs> they flash to back to that in one of the movies, don't they? In, they, they, in the they Fellowship hint, of the Ring, they like, hint at it or yeah, something like that. when Frodo is like looking into Galadriel's mirror, uh, he she tells him like you're gonna see things that oh, were, yeah. things that are, and some things that haven't yet come to pass. And he sees like the 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 Shire in flames, like all the hobbits are in chains, being made to go into work in factories for the orcs yeah. and all that. And she's like, if you don't if you don't do this, that's gonna happen. And then in the book, it just happens. <laughs> oh. That's just what goes down. Yeah. So I mean, Saruman just gets a very undignified end in the in the book, whereas in this, like at least like we have the epic scene it's of cool him death. like yeah, he like falls off the tower, gets stabbed. You know, it's like very poetic because like he's like impaled on one of his own machines and then is yeah, dumped yeah. into the water and. Treebeard gets to say something like, oh, the evils of Saruman are washing away. Yeah. Like, well, he's submerged. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess there's that, and yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I were those eagles in the other movies at all? Um, they, they there was an eagle in The Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking, you know, I was like, Gandalf. Oh yeah, these guys just come out of nowhere. It seems like it's like, where have you been the whole time? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like, where have you guys been the whole time? <laughs> that Could happens a lot. It's like giant flying things. You know, would have been helpful <laughs> a little bit. I think in the book it's kind of implied that eagles are kind of jerks. Oh. Like they don't like to be bothered very often. Yeah, and they only come like at the absolute worst, like last moment or last hour or whatever the worst hour whatever you want to call it, like, and they talk. That's the thing, oh. like, the books have, like, yeah, like, when, when, when the, the eagle rescues, like, Gandalf from the top of, like, Saruman's tower in the first yeah. thing, the first book, he's like, there's a whole scene where they're just chatting. They're like, hey, thanks, giant eagle. Oh, no problem, Gandalf. Thank you for sending word to me. Uh, where are we going to go? And he's like, I need you to go to Rivendell. All right, Rivendell it is. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but yeah, the eagles talk, and, like, I don't think they talk in, like, they're in the Hobbit movies. They don't talk there, you know. It's a, like, watch this oh, again. This got me weird. thinking, like, if we ever see another interpretation of that. There are, like, you can do a lot of things differently 
from this, this movie and still visually yeah be faithful to the book visually I think. it's hard to make something without a mouth look like it's talking mm-hmm it almost have to be like telepathic sort of thing. It could be that. Beaks hmm. don't. Yeah, it's just rah, like. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, they All right, Gandalf. They're not articulate. How's it going? Oh, oh. what am I talking about? Parrots talk. Well, they kind of talk. <laughs> <laughs> there are talking uh, birds. I what am I thinking? I, that would be a little odd if like the Gandalf had to co- have a conversation with someone and doing parrot talk. Yeah. Then, uh... right, I'm an eagle. Right. <laughs> Rivendell. Rivendell. Hi, Gandalf. Hi, Gandalf. <laughs> So, I did like the 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 Sam uh, Smeagol Frodo adventure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting, and like Frodo is mistrusting Sam mm. because uh, the guy's getting in his ear, and they're like, the ring's yeah. taking over, yeah. all that sort of stuff. And yeah. then I, was, I, love, I love the fact at the end, whenever uh, everything starts blowing up, because mm. obviously the ring's been destroyed, everybody yeah. starts cheering. Yay, Frodo! Was like, Frodo didn't do Jack! <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to Frodo, you'd all be dead. <laughs> he try, he, decide, he yeah. totally decides to keep the ring, and then him and... Uh, he doesn't push Golem Schmeagle no. over. Right. They both just fall, yeah. and he happens to survive. That's all. Yeah. It's like, it's no... There, and he wasn't, like, trying to get that ring so he could then throw it into the fire. No, he he was trying to get the ring for himself. Oh, well, I put it on, I guess, a different Gole, finger yeah, now. Golem bit it off. Golem just bit off my, <laughs> bit my like, hand Frodo, off. Frodo's no hero here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little different. Like, yeah, I book. think in the book, it's more or less the same thing, except, like... You know, in the movie, he just says, like, the ring is mine, and puts it on, whereas, like, Sam sees him, and Frodo just turns, and he's like, I do not wish to do the thing that I have come here to do. Yeah. I am now going to keep the ring for myself, puts it on. And if Sam's like, what? And then he sees, like, Gollum suddenly pop up and, like, seems to be, like, hovering in the air. He's like, what? Oh, he's on Frodo. Gollum bites the, the ring off, and Frodo just falls over. He's like, ah, my hand! Ow, that hurts! And then Sam, like... Gollum is just, like, jumping around, like, in the movie, but uh, the difference is that Frodo never gets up to push him, like, to wrestle with him. Gollum's just an idiot and falls in. Oh, yeah. that's it. <laughs> he just falls, like, yeah, the precious, the precious, the precious. Whoops. <laughs> that's even funnier. <laughs> then, so it's interesting because uh, I never read the Lord of the Rings books, but I did uh, make it most of the way through The Hobbit in high school. Hobbit's an easy read. But the, Easier, the thing anyway. is, whenever I was reading it, I didn't envision this golem creature as a, as a humanoid. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like some sort of like sea dragon or something. Uh, like yeah. some sort of aquatic, because it's living in this wet cave or something yeah. like that. So in my head, so when this came out, it was like, oh, that was a person? Like, yeah. I also didn't finish The Hobbit. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, he, I got it. That's I, his only scene in The Hobbit. He doesn't show oh, up Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. So it was a... Uh, what was it? I only would read enough of the books to get a passing grade <laughs> for these well, for these things. The fascinating thing with like how Gollum comes off like in The Hobbit. Uh, I mean, there are like I think there was like cartoon in the seventies like the of The Hobbit, and it actually yeah shows Gollum as being more of like this weird lizardish like kind of sea. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking that it was. Yeah. Now, in the original, original version of The Hobbit, because there are two versions of The Hobbit. There right, was the first he wasn't one. in there, right? Well, he was there. It's just like the way it went down was a little different. Like, in the original version, he doesn't go after Bilbo, like, because he thinks he has the ring. After Bilbo wins, like, the game of riddles, Gollum's just like, oh, man, you beat me. Okay, well, here's the ring. But when the Lord of the Rings was coming out, Tolkien like went back, changed a few things, and they came out with like called the special edition Hobbit, where like a few changes where Gollum like gets fr- like freaks out that he can't find the ring, and like attacks him and like like makes him like you know kind of ma- to make it sync up a little bit better. Gonna have to start it- calling Tolkien uh, Lucas. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> in the ho- in the original Hobbit, like the the ring, there's nothing special about it because Tolkien didn't really have that whole mm. one ring of power thing like yeah. you know, established quite yet. He had like you know elvish back lore, but he didn't have the thing about the ring. So in the Hobbit, the magic ring that makes Bilbo turn invisible is just that. It's just a ring that, that makes you, you in- that makes you invisible. And like 
Gollum says something like, yeah, I use this to, like, you know, sneak around and, you know, eat eat orcs and goblins sometimes. So, uh, here you go. You beat me in the game of riddles. So there you go. And it's kind of, there's a weird nod to it in the book of the Lord, in the book of the Lord of the Rings, where Frodo, like, Gandalf says, like, Frodo, where do you think Bilbo got this ring? And uh, Frodo says, well, he told me that he won it from Gollum in a game of riddles, and Gollum gave it to him. Gollum's like, ah, that's what he wants you to think. What really <laughs> happened is this. That's hilarious. <laughs> he's re he's retconning yeah. his own stuff. Yeah. But, okay, I, here's why I was getting to that. In that original version, it, Tolkien doesn't say, like, how big Gollum is. Like, right. They don't explain, like, his size and proportions. He's just some creature that lives in a cave. Yeah, that's probably and, why I, might, I just made something up when I read the book. Yeah, yeah and, like, there are foreign translations of it with illustrations that show Gollum as, like, this almost godzilla size looking like a dinosaur yeah. living down in the cave that's or something. What, that's totally what my brain was thinking. Like, mm -hmm. it was, a, like, a Loch Ness monster sort of thing whenever yeah. I read it originally. And, was just, and then it's like, oh, it's a dude. It's like, well... <laughs> It's just some <laughs> Iggy Pop looking guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking, okay, so he he's small, but if all he's eating is fish all day, he mm -hmm. should, I mean, that's enough protein to keep up your body mass. So, <laughs> and he's climbing on rocks and stuff. I don't know why this guy got so scrawny. He's very lean. His head, like his head, it, it, so you got to think his head is the size it's supposed to be because mm -hmm. that's the size of his skull. Right. But his body is so tiny now, but when they show him as a human, when it's just Andy Circus, it's like, how did it go from that to this? <laughs> I mean, all he eats is protein. <laughs> he gets no carbs. Uh, he, 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 like, makes a point to say that he hates all carbs. Yeah, well, he doesn't like, he doesn't like Elvish bread. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he forgot the taste of bread. Mm -hmm. it, in this oh, yeah, there's a line at the beginning of that, that you were, you did it right for that. Yeah, That's true. I had forgotten the taste of bread. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten the taste of which they do that too at the end when Frodo's saying he forgot he's forgotten yeah. all the taste of everything. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't remember anything. <laughs> There's only the ring. Like, he I doesn't like to eat. You know, and yeah, then but then he does destroy the ring, and him and Sam are on that rock, and he's like, Sam, I can remember things now. Oh, I'm so glad I have you here, Sam. And Sam's like, Yeah, man, I miss Rosie. And, and Frodo's like, Oh, oh, we're we're talking about Rosie now. Oh, oh. We're talking about you. I huh? thought we were talking about you and me, but you're talking about Ro okay. That's cool, cool, cool. No, no, it's fine, fine. I, I think Sam. I just did. thought that you, Sam's you know, whatever. Just like, <laughs> he's just sitting there like, man. <laughs> he's like, I love you and all, but you totally just almost kidding me, like. <laughs> He can't be thinking. He's like, I risked my life, like, and it was almost on, for man. nothing. It would have been for nothing had you guys not just both almost died. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, I risked. I carried you halfway up this mountain uh, so that you could just screw me over a, and try to screw over the yeah, entire world. I know that's crazy. Like, I, that's, <laughs> it's such a special moment too. And like, then he doesn't he's... make a, He doesn't say anything. But I love how he's the last one in the room when they're having the weird little yeah. pillow fight, uh, tickle, the little tickle fight. That and he, he comes so in weird. the la and he is kind of like. I'm the only one that really knows that you shouldn't be being celebrated as a hero. Yeah. I'm going to come in the room anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because he is kind of giving him the side eye there at the end. Like, he, like oh Sam God. doesn't trust Frodo oh anymore. <laughs> you, you dickweed. Yeah. <laughs> that was almost for nothing, you jerk. Yeah. Little uh, mister, like, the ring is mine. Like, oh, whoop de freaking do Fuck, <laughs> freaking could have just tripped and like let it fall in the fire, but no, no, I gotta stand there and be like, the ring is mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna try to run off down the mountain, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's weird too, because like when he goes invisible, like it shows his footprints, and he's just kind of like wandering about. Yeah. It's like, what's your plan here, buddy? What I'm you thinking gonna that do? he is, st he's still really weak. Like, he is barely able to walk That's at just, that point yeah. anyway, so he's just going to crawl that. down the mountain. Yeah. That scene where he wakes up, and it's him, like, it's, Gandalf's it's there, and he awkward. starts... It is weird. Like, I remember thinking, like, man, that's kind of that was kind of a weird scene. And then, like, I watched it again here, I'm like, yeah, that's just a weird scene. Because it's like, ha, 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 Other guys walk in. Ha, 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 
As the, 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 the hobbits are all having a tickle fight on the bed, it's like, let's review our cast. <laughs> they all come in one at a time. Uh, oh, God. <sighs> um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, there's that, and Gandalf is there. and I got to uh, say, with the Gandalf, he, I think he looked cooler when he was gray. Oh, for sure. Yeah. His, his whole aesthetic was much cooler. Like when he's white, his his beard is more trimmed yeah. down to a point, and it's just kind of like uh, I'm not feeling the white the white. Uh, no, like Gandalf the, the, the gray. Gandalf. You know, he he's like he's a 70 year old gruff guy who went to a lot of Grateful Dead concerts back in the day. If you oh, catch yeah. my drift, he's a, yeah. he loves smoking that. Well, yeah, oh, what's the weird one? In this weed. one, he keeps coughing whenever he smokes. Like uh, yeah, like he like. <laughs> Gandalf the White is supposed to be above smoking, but he still loves it's it from still, his past or something. Yeah. He's like, well, there's been people. I always love that, like, <laughs> the first movie where Solomon's like, you've, you've, the, your love of the halfling's leaf has clearly dulled your mind. And it's like, um, so is this tobacco or what the, what by halfling's leaf are we talking about here? Yeah. Well, yeah. even like in the first movie, Bilbo, when they're smoking outside his house, says something like, ah, old Toby, the finest weed in the South Farthing or whatever. I'm like, by weed, <laughs> what, what are we talking about was here? The mar- was the marijuana big in, in England in that, at that I, time? I, I, don't I don't know. Was, there, was there European beatniks and whatnot? I'm not Maybe, I'm not so I don't sure. know. They, uh... I remember, like, there's some behind-the-scenes thing for Return of the King where the cat's playing Mary and Pippin, they're talking about, like, the leaf, and he's like, they're like, yeah, I mean, Saruman kind of implies that there's something weird about, you know, old Toby or, you know, whatever, so we weren't really too sure how to play that, and apparently there are takes where they play it, like, kind of high, yeah. And oh, more yeah. they gravitate more towards just intoxicated from the beer. <clears throat> well, yeah, at the beginning of this one, they're smoking that, that mm. the, the two hobbits are smoking yeah. that stuff that they found, and they didn't want to tell the tree guy about yeah. it because it's like, it might be a relative. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, good thinking. Yeah, good thinking, guys. Yeah, yeah. Where, where'd you go with that? Trees don't like fire. Yeah, yeah. and then, like, yeah, B- Mary gives Pippin, like, uh, some extra. He's like, here, there you go. He's like, what? Well, that was your last bit. I know you've already run out. You smoke too much, Pippin. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it's kind of issue. Well, it's like their metabolisms are really high also. Because it's like they're clearly. eating all the time. So it's like, I'm guessing the alcohol and the... Gotta have that the, second and breakfast. the weed doesn't have the, the same effect as like with humans and dwarves, apparently. Because that's what I'm noticing. It's like the elves and the hobbits have really high metabolisms, but the humans and the dwarves seem to have the same kind of metabolism where mm-hmm. they can't eat and drink as much as the other two. <laughs> Apparently not, yeah. We don't know about the orcs, about their metabolism. <laughs> they know, we know they like the meats. They have menus that you can put things <laughs> yeah, they on. Have you know, like, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Like, <laughs> orcs know about menus? They have restaurants. Are, are there well, orc restaurants? Civilized. Yeah. In the first movie, they seem like just mindless beasts and then it's like oh they're very civilized yeah well we all they're all they're all like get in formation in the first movie we only <laughs> like have, see the uruk a little bit yeah and then the second movie we see more of the uruk and some of the orcs and then the third one we see a whole bunch of the orcs and like i think the scene where like yeah they've captured frodo and like the two orcs get into a fight over the mithril shirt like they knock each other out and it looks like the orcs are like just at the tower Hanging, having, out. hanging out, having That's some drinks. They yeah, something. they just live there. They're drinking and eating and partying or whatever. And, like, they're very prone to violence. And they just all... That's how Sam sneaks up They there, just all they kill all each other. Each yeah. other. Yeah. He just happened to, like, come in after a, a complete brawl slash, like, gore fest, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, th- the three orcs that weren't killed, like, get stabbed by him. And then yeah. another one gets out with the shirt. And then the last one gets... Stabbed again by him. I was thinking, uh, okay, like the last thing that I was thinking about. All right, the very last thing. Was the dead army. Yes. And how, uh, okay, so they're like, you're going to work for us, or you're going to work for me, because I'm the king, and blah, Mm. blah, blah. And they're like, no, we're not. And it's like, yeah, you are. And they go, ha, ha, ha. And they try to kill him in a skull avalanche, and he just kind of walks through the wall. He's like, yeah, okay. (laughs) It's like, what the (laughs) 
Yeah. This is kind of goofy yeah. as, like, there is. Like, that, he's like, yeah, okay. That's I guess everything. you can see that as, like, they're considering it, and then, like, they think, you know what? If they could survive this, maybe we'll do it. Yeah. Sort of we'll see how they but react then, to the skull avalanche. But I'm thinking it's, like, they help him, and he's like, I release you. I was like, oh, but you're not done yet. Yeah. They could be very helpful. It's like, why is it just for this one, yeah, one no. thing? Even Gim was them. like, oh, no, pretty useful, these guys, uh, <laughs> so even though they're dead. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like you, you aren't quite done yet. Yeah, it would have so been it's like, like you could. I think the argument could be made that uh, uh, they were actually supposed to help him until the end, until the ring was done, yeah. until the eyeball was done. But you gotta get rid of him, <sighs> that sort of thing. Yeah, there's a oh yeah one 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 last one last. One. I like how like we're kind of you're giving you're saying one last thing. No no no. One last thing. No, no, no. Just one like last the movie, thing. you see. Okay, you know, there's all those endings. Well, one last thing here. Okay. The the repairing of the sword. Yeah. Now, I'm not a metallurgist <laughs> or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that any uh, sword that would be broken, mm -hmm. it would be much stronger if you just melted the whole thing all the way down yeah. and redid it. Yeah, yeah. And not, like, tried to, you know, I always weld felt it back together. <laughs> that to be a bit lackluster. Yeah. Because, like, the reforging of the swords is just some elves, like, hitting it a few times. Yeah. And it just seems to magically come back together. Which, I don't know, elf magic, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. It's like because of reasons. Because this isn't real. They could have done something more with that, I think. But, uh, uh, I was sitting there thinking, like, this sword is not going to be as strong. <laughs> <laughs> if all you're doing is heating up the parts that were broken and then hammering it again. you got to yeah. uh, all the way, recast it. <sighs> recast the sword. So, uh, well. yeah. Well. All right. Having said that, uh, uh, so we watched. We're we... going to watch the fourth movie next week. <laughs> Watch all the Hobbit movies. Oh, no. Oh, I, they're not actually showing. There's not another retro movie shown for a while. Um, Not for a while. I think the next thing well, is the, the Maltese next, Falcon, yeah. that old Humphrey Bogart film. Yeah, they're doing, like, really old movies. Yeah, go way back. Because they're like, we spent all our money on the Lord of the Rings. <sighs> so, ben, yeah. you're quite moist. I am moist. Yeah. <laughs> it's a moist day. It is. And that's why it gets in my eyes easily. Always annoying. So, there is that. And then, uh... So, is Peter Jackson going to be making any other movies? They made him do The Hobbits. He didn't want to do that. <laughs> no. Um, he did The King Kong. He did King Kong. Um, I think he did a movie called The Lovely Bones. It's like more more low-key film. I think at one point he was going to produce a Halo movie. That didn't happen. I don't know what he's doing next. Red truck. I'm sure he's doing something. Yeah. I know he said like he made, well he helped make that World War One documentary, they will not grow old. Oh yeah. It was like that thing where they like remastered a whole bunch of old sound. Yeah, they colorized, footage, they colorized, colorized it. Colorized it like had people dub in the voices, or because obviously it was all silent film footage. Yeah. And apparently, like I read some story where he like really nailed the process of like 4K restorations after doing that. So like he wants to do that to his old movies. Like make them look really good, and like, oh boy, he's done a bad taste in 4K. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be good. Meet the Feebles in 4K, you know it. <laughs> Woo -hoo, yeah, his movies didn't look that bad. Well, that I remember. I did watch. I watched. I don't even think I watched the third Hobbit, but I watched the first Hobbit in the theater, mm -hmm. and it was that first time where they were like, we shot it more frames per second than sure. any other film was ever made. Yeah. I saw it on a big screen, and I, but I I was like, this is bad. I saw the makeup lines. Mm -hmm. I saw where the ear was glued on. I yeah. was like, this is this is not... There's, uh, a, there's a reason. It isn't they, helping. Yeah, there's a reason <laughs> that they, uh, they don't film things yeah. in a high frame rate like that. If they re restored many of the old horror movies we all know and loved, mm -hmm. they'd be like, Freddy looks awful. Yeah, or, you know, it just. <laughs> I think there have been some people who like made the case that, uh, like, you know, horror movies are better on VHS because yeah. the veneer is it there. Blends, yeah, you blends. Can't, you can't see it. <laughs> the grain. You need the grain. <laughs> yeah, for horror movies on Blu-ray don't work as well. Yeah. What are you gonna do? And the newer stuff, it's all CG anyway. Yeah. So it's all about manipulating the 
putting a filter on it to match the lighting and Helps. all that sort of stuff. It's helpful, to be sure. So, okay. Anything else? Well, the thing is, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. I think, I think that really is. It oh. might be the end of our Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> Not of, might. It just of is. Reviews. Oh, no, the review, the the trilogy of reviews. It is because we're. It's all the movies. Well, no, there might be. Some, they might make it. No, one. that's out. Of, we're out of the trilogy movies. They're making a fourth Matrix. <laughs> and we'll go see that when it comes out. I'm sure. And be like, wow, Keanu Reeves never ages. That's true. He's he's just John Wick. He's John Wick now, or something. Which is just another layer, layer of the Matrix. Yeah, that's what you that's get the fan it. theory. That's why Morpheus is saying. there too. That's true. <laughs> he's the bird. He's the bird king, or whatever. Yeah. The, the 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 street the street people. Street people. Yeah. Ruler. So. Okay. Well. Huh. Well, I think uh, we uh, go to the movies. Really long movies. Oh yes. Long. And the and the reviews were long too. Yes. Uh, twist! Psych out ending again! Yeah, yeah, it's like in the, it was like in the. You're gonna like put a lot of those movies, yeah, fade, fade, fade out, fade, fade it back in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fade like like, yeah. A million times in that movie. Actually, the fade to black only happens twice. I yeah, believe. that's true. But it is like confusing. You're like, eh, uh, oh, okay. There was like five times they could have ended that. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, we got we to stop doing this. This is getting ridiculous. So. Indeed. We went to the movies. 